wonderful world of YouTube. We're back with the Guitarra de Golpe. Now, I've been promising a while that I was going to start doing more Golpe videos. <clears throat> this is not my Guitarra de Golpe. This is a friend of mine let me borrow this uh, down in Tucson a few weeks ago. And I just kind of asked him, I was like, hey bro, you know, can I borrow your Golpe? Because everybody on the channel wants to see more Golpe videos. So he was like, yeah, cool, man. Go ahead and use it, record it, and do what you got to do. Make her famous. I almost bought a Golpe. Like a few weeks ago, maybe earlier this month, I found like a really nice one down in Tucson at a pawn shop, and I think there was some shady shit going on there, man, because it went up for sale, I made an offer, they accepted it, and they're like, oh, we can't sell it, so I'm like, yeah, I think I think I might know what's going on there. You guys have something, or someone brought you something, and you're not doing all your homework. And it was a Candelas, it was a super fancy Candelas Guitar de Golpe, I was going to buy it just for you guys, just for the channel, just so I could do videos and tutorials and all kinds of fun shit. But we're going to get back to it, and sorry for my voice, because I've been living with um, a really bad flu the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's been killing me. I almost died! So, yeah, I'm very susceptible to lung infection, so when I get the flu, all this in here gets all really bad, and I can't breathe. And I can't breathe! So, wanted to say thanks really quick before we get this lesson on the road, and uh, say thank you for watching. And for the people who would like to subscribe, please subscribe. And thank you for watching the Play Mariachi podcast, guys. That's, that's like getting really popular and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. The how to play guitar de golpe. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best golpe player in the world, okay? There's not many of us. I know that it's getting very popular. There's kind of like a resurgence of people playing guitar de golpe in various tunings. Um, so, when I say this is how you play, what I'm really saying is this is how I play the guitar de golpe, all right? And everybody can kind of do their own thing and determine how they want to go forward, all right? So you get a standard guitar de golpe. I have a really nice ruby red candelas guitar de golpe. And you notice that here, you know, there's no frets here, right? Very similar to the vihuela, um, how you play in this area, right? I'm not playing back here so much or on, over the sound hole. It's kind of like right before you get to, you know, the neck of the, of the, of the, of the guitar neck, right? In this little area. So the way I play is just like I would with Vihuela, is I have a finger pick or I have no pick. I don't use guitar picks. I just had the flu a week, did I mention that? I don't use guitar picks. I don't, uh, it's just not my thing. I know a couple of dudes that are really badass quarterback players and, uh, you know, they use guitar picks. <laughs> You know, for me, it feels kind of weird and um, uncomfortable. So one of my biggest rules for any kind of lesson or how to play anything is you have to feel comfortable with what you're doing. I feel most comfortable with a finger pick, all right? So and this is kind of a weird posture, right? You're going to have like a, like a guitar strap here holding it. I hold it pretty close to my chest, right? Right, right up against, right up against the, 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 the pecs there. And my arm, depending if you have a short arm, like a T-Rex arm, or if you have a long arm, like a gorilla gorilla arm, like I do, I drape kind of my 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 bicep right over the the curve of the of the butt of the guitar, right. So this kind of drapes over, and I try not to slouch when I'm doing this, so I don't look like a gremlin. I try to get, keep a good posture. I keep this at a nice angle, right. I want to have as much leverage as I can in this left arm, my, you know, the chord, you know, the playing hand here to build chords, because guitar de golpe chords are kind of, they're really all over the spot, right? They can get pretty, the bar chords on this thing can get pretty intense. So I like to keep this at a nice angle. This is something that I was taught when I was kind of learning how to play golpe and the white line guitar and all kinds of stuff when I was a kid in Tucson. And so a good thing is to have good posture, good leverage, and comfortable, right? So this this arm will drape over kind of like what it would with a vihuela. That What that does is that frees up the wrist, right? So that I can... Right? You want to be able to have a good... Just like you would when playing the vihuela. When I play the vihuela and when I play the golpe, 
I don't do weird like try to avoid that, right? It all if you can't avoid it and that's the only way you can play, then okay, fine, that's the only way you can do it. I can't even do that. What I do is I have kind of like a, a fist, right? Like a fist here, and I keep it as close to that as possible. I open up my hand a little bit. You know, you can see, it's kind of like I'm riding a bike, right? I have my, my hands on the handlebar. That's kind of like how I, I describe it. Like, when you grip a handlebar or a brake, you know, you have like a clutch, you know, you have a grip. And so that's kind of how I play. I'm using all my fingers. I need practice. Now, the same exercises for my how to play my etchy guitar and all that kind of stuff, Apply to the guitar de golpe only. You're only you're using a finger pick now. Right. So you want to keep those things in mind again. Finger pick good bike grip, you know, get this leverage over the, the curve, right, let it kind of just rest, right, you wouldn't come over like this, this this isn't going to work, right, um, it's not enough range, so you got to scooch that over, and with good posture, song, anything that you're going to do. It's just the biggest thing with the guitar de golpe is getting your right hand getting that situated your left hand, learning the chords <clears throat> my tuning that I use for the golpe is kind of like a standard tuning I guess you should call it. You have your G you have your C you have your E you have your A and you have your D There's a couple of guys out there that have Guitar de Golpe chord charts, um, that's pretty good. If you want to follow my link to how to build chords on the Guitar de Golpe, that'll help too. How to actually... How to go through and build chords. I highly recommend that video. I try to break it down as simple as possible. It's just, chords are just, you know, arpeggios of notes stacked together. That's it. So yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, this is a really quick how to play Guitar de Golpe video. I might be coming out with some exercises, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Anything that I record on guitar, I'm going to record on Golpe. Just because I have a lot of covers out there already and I'm just going to do them all over on Guitar de Golpe. And I might try to put some chord charts like right there, or little somethings. I'll, I'll, I'll increase the production value for the videos for you guys to subscribe and watch them. We're almost at a thousand subscribers guys, that's pretty crazy. When I started doing YouTube, you know, I wanted to do movie reviews and, and, and like video game reviews and all that because that's really what I'm into. That's, that's my hobby, you know, this is kind of like my work, but, you know, um, movies and stuff like that is what I like to do in my spare time, but so many people doing that. And then I thought, you know what, how many people are doing mariachi guitar videos and guitar de golpe videos? Not very many. You know, how many of them are doing them in English? Very few. And so that's kind of what I found my niche to be on YouTube. And you guys like it. You guys are always saying cool things, positive stuff, and, uh, asking me cool questions, you know I'm an instrument hunter, I like to go out there and find rare shit and buy it and sell it and sometimes I keep it. Uh, ooh, that's more of us. And so yeah guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next Guitar de Golpe or Play Mariachi Podcast or whatever it is we do on this channel. Peace.